on my toes. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, you just got exposed on YouTube. This video will be up here forever. Alrighty, guys. We're about to watch some kitchen fucking nightmares. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my other content. I'm sure you would enjoy it. <laughs> Bro, you think you think Gordo is a right wing? Yeah, you, you guys, Chad, you guys think... Yo, everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment if you guys think... If Gordo was political, where would he lean? Edit that out, please. I'm just kidding. Fuck that. Uh, Gordo's apolitical. What's up, Kenzie? Oh, Gordo. All right. Welcome, everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Um, let's watch some fucking Gordon. Don't say ill, Gordo. For the last several years, Chef Ramsay has traveled all across America. You are in denial. No. And encountered some memorable owners. Wake up! You wake up! One being more stubborn. Probably Jay. Last time than the next. He was fresh. Do the day. Actually, I don't know. He's kind of old. Delicious. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. But tonight, on Kitchen Nightmares. Are you nuts? Completely. At an Italian restaurant in Denver. Denver's best pizza. There's a huge mistake on the awning. Chef Ramsay faces off against the most stubborn owner he has ever met. It's like it's like when all these movies are like is the number one movie in America. And it's like are all the movies number one in America? Like every every episode is like, it's like today is Gordon's toughest challenge. You know what I mean? Like it's every fucking episode is toughest challenge. Owns Gordon's in favor of big business. Damn Tish, that's just you. I don't feel the thrill anymore, dude. Tish Tish is a fair weather Gordon lover. I I feel it every time I see him. Do it. Pete is clearly living in the past, clinging to positive reviews from 20 years ago. We are not in 1991. Christ, I wasn't even born yet. Chat, put a W in chat if you were born before, if you were born in 1991, if you were alive then. Pete, his wife Paulette, and son Josh have fought, or maybe before. Pete, get lost. Trying to get through to him, but Pete simply refuses to listen to them. Damn it. Don't. Or anyone else. Just shut up. Including Chef Ramsay. You're sinking. Oh, no, I'm not. The food is absolutely appalling. Good God. What the fuck is that? Oh, this episode's pretty good. Milkshakes are always super good at first, and I'd... it's like, ugh, so thick. You're complaining about thickness. How bad that tasted. The portions are enormous. It looks like a giant. Okay, I'll never complain about enormous portions. I'm a, I'm a fucking eater, bro. I like to eat. Diaper stuffed with meatballs. It seems the only. Dude, Pika, they were a fucking sub, girl. Fucking thank you, guys. Thanks so much for the fucking subs and bits. They're they're so fucking helpful right now. All the support, Devetta. Thank you for the fucking bits earlier. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you. Thing bigger than Pete's ego. He has grease. Holy Diet <laughs> cum. Ew. Let you take that in. Looks so rich. Jeff Ramsey pulls out all the stops. We are now just going so far backwards. As he tries to save a restaurant, you're in denial. I am the percent And a family as well. Stop. Stop. You're gonna bird feed me a milkshake? Giraffe, no. They're not trapped and they're delicious. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> I hated that guy. Bro, did Gordon plant that rat or not? I still think about it every day. If Gordon planted the rat in that one restaurant, that they accused him of planting it. We need to go back and rewatch that episode. If he planted it, where did he get it from? I don't know. You're good, Pika. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Denver, Colorado, known as the Mile High City, is home to almost 20. <laughs> he, fucking Gordon goes, buys a mouse from the pet store, like, smothers it in his hand, and throws it on the ground of the restaurant. 500 restaurants. Located Reviews. Seven miles from the city center is Pantaleon's. Opened in 1985 by Pete. And He's like, anything for the left. content. <laughs> I'm from an island in Greece. When I first got to the U.S., I was a chef in another place. A pizza. I wanted to buy pizza. Because my pizza is the best in the whole world. But you're on Kitchen Nightmares, so no. I'm Paulette. I think I've seen some things. When we first opened, we did have one. Dang, bro! Short kings, look, you have a chance. You know, some short kings can get a tall woman. You know. Maybe, you know, likelihood is you probably won't, but 
Ooh, a tall queen. Is she a tall queen or is she a short king? I don't know. Wonderful reviews. We just got award after award after award. My signature on the pizza is my cross. Back in the 90s, he was busy. But my grandfather thinks he's still in the 90s. I think my pizza is awesome. Pete is stuck in a time war. So they get paid to say their food is the best. Does he have stuffed crust? I read the rest. Name is Pantalunas. I've done 200 people, man. Come on, by myself. That's a long time ago. Have a slow lunch. We used to be packed. Now, we have no customers. I cannot pinpoint the reason. Good food is good food. I've been telling Pete for years we need to change things, but he doesn't listen. I'm getting some bad feedback on your pizza. So what, what are you going to do? My food is not the problem. My table's saying that. All right, so if they're saying the food is the problem and it's not the problem, then what's the fucking problem? Goddamn. Wait for his owner to come back. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like some of these people are, like, literally just fucking delusional. Like, they're just, like, stuck in their ways. It's too soggy, too soft on the dough. There's gotta be something else. Look at that. It's nasty. Ew, that wasn't even fully cooked. The problem is the customers. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Stupid customers. I need I need better customers. Where do I get the good customers from? I keep getting these shit customers. Now, honestly, I don't want my pizza too grass. My pizza too grassy. I can't fucking talk. I don't want my pizza too greasy, but I, I do like a little bit of grease in my pizza. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm fucking nasty like that. Pizza in Denver. Like, I'm a fucking freak. I'm kinky when it comes to my pizza. Like, put a little bit of grease in that hoe for me. I would low-key eat that. Yeah, dude, I like kind of grease. Greasy pizza. It might be kind of gross. Well, shut up, son. But listen, I'm fucking freaky. I'm down for that shit. Grandpa's pizza is like a white wall tire. It's mushy. Yeah. That's disgusting. God forbid, if you said anything about his pizza, forget it. Okay, that might be too much. Ow. Like this will come down. I don't know what you're talking about. That's pretty bad. Just shut up. Your veggie pizzas, they're a little soggy. Okay, quit, quit I... She's not whining, greasy slut. I am a slut for a little bit of pizza grease. A little bit of grease on pizza. You guys know what pizza's really good? You guys are gonna think I'm so nasty. Chuck E. Cheese pizza. That shit is fucking good, dude. I know it's made out of, like, cardboard and, like, fucking fake cheese, probably, but that shit is good. I don't know what they... Like, the thin crust, the fucking... Grease the cheese. Ah, oh, dude, something bad. It suck fucking good. Is he still using? But the, the ingredients are left over from the nineties. I love a little local pizza place. Want to change things about the place, but my father shoots down every one of my ideas. It's ridiculous, man. This is your system, really. It's hard. Exactly, Tish. What up, Barbie? I'm frustrated because I want to help my parents, but Tish, base Tish for once. My fave pizza is a frozen pizza. To be honest, nah, some frozen pizza slap. I guess there's this one brand, I forgot what it's called. I, I know if I see it, but it's a margarita pizza and it's, oh, it's fucking good. There's only so much that I can do to help them. The restaurant does put a tremendous amount of stress on our family. We are just making ends meet. If it keeps up like this, I could see us shutting down in a year or so. If we don't get this right True, JK. We're going to sell our home. <laughs> We're gonna For have to find jobs, and at our age, that is not. It's like a puzzle. Easy. Oh yeah, they don't cut those. Like the reason why they're not. The reason why Chuck E. Cheese on um, Tisha different slice pizzas are, are like a puzzle. And reading that for the YouTube video, Bob. but they do that because like the the person making them is like definitely making minimum wage back then. They're just like fucking fucking hate this job, and they're just fucking cutting the shit out of it. They don't give a fuck. See, we gotta make it work, or we gotta get out of it. Like so, you'll have like three giant pieces and like six tiny little slivers. I put everything in this place that I ever had. If the restaurant fails, it will feel like my life was nothing. Damn. What's up, Maria? Pantaleones. Wow. Pantaleones. That is a bold statement. Hello. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Hey, Shay. Bro, if my girl's eyes ever lit up like with another man walking, especially Gordon, bro, like she would, she would leave, she would leave her husband for Gordon. You just look at her face, bro. I'm doing pretty good, Maria. After this piece of place closed, you already know I'm a kick for those giant pieces, bro. I, I'd always give my brother the small pieces and give myself the big ones. Rude for Gordo, true. 
Look, bro. Damn. Imagine you're 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 significant other looking at another person this way. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Hey, chef. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, too. Denver's best pizza. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna title this YouTube video. Uh, Kitchen Nightmares owner tries to fuck Gordo. Next statement. First name is Paul everything. He's a little slut for Gordon. Co-owner. Co-owner. So am I. Peeped. Where it is? Peeped. Oh, there he is. She didn't even call him her, her husband. She's like, oh, just Pete. We're just friends. Catfishing. Wait, is like making pizza, if you're not Italian and you make pizza, is that like stolen valor? She's cute. Josh, Josh how are you, bud? Good. Good. Um, let's catch up with you and okay. Pete, yeah? Where should we go? So we're right here, so okay. shall we? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hope they don't make an ass out of yourselves. One thing. Nah, I would just bully them, Tish, and take them. I wouldn't lie. I'd just say it's mine, bitch. I'm bigger than you. Take it from me. I barely even know. We just met, to be honest. They've been married for 30 years. So, do you have the best pizza in Denver? I do. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. When did you receive that? Day 85. So you had. The best pizza in right town on. since 1985. That's incredible. I think I do. Well, actually, I don't think I do. I, I know I do. I like the confidence. In New York. Now, there is a city with great pizzas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But mine is better. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I went to New York and I tried the deep dish pizza. It was good. I tried pizzas from a bunch of different places. I went to other places people recommended. Like, oh, this is the best pizza in New York. This is the best pizza in New York. I went to the places. It wasn't wasn't that great it's a little it's literally a myth like bro honestly i hate like dude i lived in new york i'll say this no like deep dish is good don't get me wrong but like people in new york are, are stuck up their own ass like oh we got we got we got the best pizza we got the bodegas we got the kona stones we got we got the best everything come on you know forget about it like bitch bro new york blows bro Get your keep your nasty cockroach fucking deep dish pizza, bro. That place is nasty as fuck, mid as fuck food. No good restaurants, cold as shit. New York, New York blows. I'm I'm sorry. From New York, I had New York style pizza from New York. It was good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like this like supreme pizza that's like a head and shoulders above all the other pizzas. It's just not true. I don't want it. Like, like New, New York honestly blows. It's like one of the worst states in the world, I think. Or in the United States, my bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. And you opened in 1985. They're behemoths. Yeah, yeah but you can get big pizza anywhere. We open up. You know your dates well for an old Hot service. Chicago <laughs> is home of the, you know, of the deep dish. A charming old man. <laughs> 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 right. That was awkward. Gordon's trying to make a joke and this guy's just weird. Look at look how she's smiling at Gordo. <laughs> yeah, he knows his girl's getting taken. It's expensive. Dude, she wants him. Even her laugh. How hands on is this one. Completely. And Com completely. Still seven days a week. Uh, no, we're closed two days. Look for the army team. That's it. Closed two days a week. Sunday. Batting her eyes. Uh, Why are you closed on Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. I Don't work. think about it too much. Are you nuts? Do you have any idea how many pizzas get ordered on a Sunday just in football season? We did open that Sunday in 86. Congratulations. In 86. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? So, how has that affected the business? Closed two days a week, Sunday, Monday. Nobody knows who we're open. Damn. We're closed in the afternoon. The restaurant closes? Seriously? Because sure. he has to have his nap. My brother! My boy! This man closes his business to take a nap. Go crazy. Yes, that is what? Nap. Is nappy. Sleep. That's kind of a European thing that you know the siesta deal. This is why America's better. We don't need nap. It's. I told you, Chad. You guys are sleeping on America, bro. America, common American W, European L. No one else can run it. New York and that's what I go for. I mean, I think there's fun. There's ton, plenty of fun things to do in New York. I just think it's way overhyped. Russian closes because Pete wants a nap. Yeah, like they do in Greece. In England too. No, no, we don't close. No, the you don't do that. Bro, Tish, you didn't go through the right part of Syracuse. Sy Syracuse is one of the most impoverished cities in America, by the way. 
I'm European and we don't nap here. Not true. This guy says everyone in Europe naps. Bruno, who's lying? This guy or you? Kidding. This sell the bitch and retire. I mean, like, I, I, I can kind of feel for that because, like, even when I'm old, I feel like I'll probably, like, at least work a little bit till I die. Like, I'll never want to fully retire. Bro, Syrac Syracuse is fucking nasty, Tish. Trust me. It's ghetto, dirty. You might, you might have driven around Syracuse, but the city of Syracuse? No. You, you, bro, you can't drive to the city of Syracuse and think it's fucking nice. But, bro, Syracuse has, like, half the buildings are fucking abandoned. Just because he needs to nap. Like, bro, I t bro, Ben came and visited me in Syracuse, and he, even he said this shit was ghetto as fuck. No. Did you do any delivery? No. Wait, a pizza place with no delivery? Wow. Yes. Plus, there's We're looking for foods. If you think Syracuse is nice, Tish, bro, you gotta, like, raise your standards, bro. The other things, you don't listen to anyone. I mean, you don't listen to Like, Syracuse is, like, right behind Detroit, I'm pretty sure, as like, far as, like, the like the most, like, ran down, like, dirty cities in America. Me, it's like, if he starts doing something one way, you can't get him off of it. Like, there's this, there's this whole corner in Syracuse, in downtown Syracuse, I remember, it's so funny. I showed this to Ben, and they're literally, like, the buildings are so old and falling apart, you can't even go near them. There's, like, a gate that's, like, um, 20 feet away from them, and they have these giant steel, steel pillars leaned up against the buildings um, to keep the buildings and everything from falling over. It's so bad. And, uh, like, half the shit's abandoned. Everyone's, like, fucking homeless. She's a princess and control it. Mm -mm. How old is Josh? 33. And he must be geared up now to take over the business when you take a back seat somewhere. But in terms of... And, like, there are some places in Syracuse that are, are literally closed down. You literally can't go down certain roads because buildings have collapsed into the street. What's the plan? Is he the head chef now? No. No. He's no. still here. As long as I'm in here, I am. Okay, we're talking about pizzas, right? And I lived in the smack dab middle of Syracuse, the what city. You laughing about? Well, uh, hey, don't speak to her that way. I'll slap the shit out of you, old man. I'd expect Josh by now. Yeah. Literally, five or six years at the helm. Why can't you let go? My the homeless. Where do you think you're gonna let go? I guess like visiting it might look cool, but like living there, and, like li like live actually living in like a like a falling apart, crumbling city that's like falling apart financially is terrible. For the last two years, I've yes. seen it on a downhill slide, Decline. and now like leaving for Gordo, that's why he can't let go. That's all he has left. But he's rude. I've seen it with no tables. Wow. Damn. Bro, how how could you keep like how could you stay like positive or like motivated if you could like literally you'd have like a whole day with zero customers at least they aren't a million debt we haven't got into their debt yet let's see if they have any he has a business have you put money away no no you can't retire no we got into trouble we refinanced our home two or three times wait we spoke too soon jcat they might be in debt they can't even retire this is crazy mm -hmm. that's what i feel like wow so, my experience. Get up to speed, uh, Jesus. Food. I'm dying to taste Where do you get to hear the details? Uh, I know it's late in the afternoon, but are you, uh, are you going for a nap or are you with us? <laughs> Several stayed. times, oh, my stayed. God. I like, I, I don't understand why people, like, if you have to refinance your home and do all this crazy stuff, you know, uh, you get all these loans and stuff, like, that's a sign that you shouldn't be owning a business. Like, like I get you want to own your business, but, like, you got to be prepared for it. You got to work hard, save money, do whatever you got to do, blah, blah, blah. But, like, refinancing your home, putting yourself in, like, detriment with, like, loaning it with these crazy huge loans and all this shit. Like, like all these people who are like, on Kitchen Nightmares, like, the, the biggest, like, sign they shouldn't be in business is because they're having to refinance their house, they're having a mortgage. If you don't have the capital to put into your business to keep it going, your business is just fucking sucking money out of you, why would you refinance your home? Full stop. Exactly, JK. Like, the fucking logic is not there. Okay, good. I, I didn't know if it was old nap time. <laughs> it's nappy time for, for old man. Papa John's. Better pizza. Better ingredients. Better bitches. Better. My clothes better. Josh, come around, but let's catch up. What's up, Ben? I've done it for 37 years. I think I know what I'm doing. I didn't realize things were that tough for mom and dad. It's actually gotten to a point where I'm I'm embarrassed of the place. Right. I didn't change. Of Tony, man, he's so funny. You're happy with the pizzas? Um, no. 
<laughs> Five minutes. So the bad, oh, so and I've been saying it all day. Like very stubborn man. Yeah, I have a lot more ideas. Has he started to pass the reins over or no? No, seriously. No, no, absolutely. Not. Why is that? I don't know what's going to make him, if ever. It's always been three more years, three more years. It's but, crazy. Yeah, it is. It's been really crazy. Coming up. Holy crap. Isn't that ridiculous? That actually looks pretty good. Maybe if I don't know, we'll see what Gordon has to say. Chef Ramsay begins. Okay, that was a little too greasy, but his research. It's like the pizza that. Okay, that's is that too greasy, chat? I like, like I said, I like grease. I'm a fucking slut for grease, but is that too much? Popped a blood vessel in his eye. Chris looks doughy. Eight Denver and discovers the biggest portion. Oh, dude, calzones are so slept on. I fucking love calzones. He has seen it is it too much? That means like a giant diaper. You won't believe how calzones are fucking really fire. They're so good. Pizza and you can dip them in red sauce, Alfredo sauce, the fettuccine sauce. Oh, dude, they're so they're so fucking sausage calzone you could get chicken calzones yes but calzones are so versatile Denver, i disagree with you so stubborn i may even buffalo eat. chicken exactly out of the restaurant for good yeah, i'm out of here calzones are the best i know dude i need to find a good calzone place around here but i'm not gonna lie and this is off topic but i moved around a lot i've lived in california i lived in new york i've lived in florida i've lived in north carolina i've lived in now texas um, and this is crazy for me to say all those places the food has been as good or not worse than North Carolina in all those states um, Plus I've been to other states. Uh, I've been out of the country um, And I would say the food has always been around the same or worse Texas is the first state the first place I can be I've been where I can genuinely say the food is better here Like this is a, this, Texas has had the best food out of any place. I've tried now you've had the real American experience. Uh, I hope most Americans don't experience what I experienced, but I'll say that Texas definitely has won the food category and has won the fucking category. Things are fucking bigger down here. Dude, I went to a goddamn gas station day called Bucky's, and holy fuck, it was huge. They, it was a gas station that was the size of like a fucking Walmart. And it literally had, in this gas station, they literally had like all the shit Walmart would have. But it was a fucking gas station, and it was huge. Texans fucking love Bucky's, yes. So size does matter? <laughs> exactly. I love Bucky's. I always bought a Bucky shirt because I thought the place was so cool. Did you try their food? Uh, I got a uh, a fucking it was like a it wasn't like a pulled pork. It was like like a shredded chicken sandwich. It, it was like a patty melt, but it was like on the Texas toast. It, it was weird. It wasn't. Like, it's kind of weird. I've never had it before. It was like shredded chicken with barbecue sauce, cheese on like a like toasted Texas toast. It was really fucking good. And then I had, uh, I just got like a Celsius and some other stuff and looked around. They had like all these sweets. It was like, it was like, dude, it was such a, it was really like, no, it was like a novelty store, mer Texas merch, fucking everything. Their food, Loki Schmacks. Oh, they had so much fucking food too. Like, like, dude, you could go there every day and get something different probably. Clearly this family is divided. Wife Paulette and son Josh feel that the restaurant is stuck in the past. While Pete feels there is absolutely nothing wrong with his food. It's time for Chef Ramsay to find out for himself. How are you, darling? I'm good. How so are first you? Name is? Celestina. Celestina. It's interesting. Now, what do you think the problems are with the restaurants? There's a few different problems. Um, when it comes to Pete and Paulette, they butt heads a lot on how things should be run. She wants changes, and Pete wants things his way. Wow. Anyway, let me have a quick look at the menu. Okay. And, um, oh, there's another letter here. Everything is homemade. We cook for you just like Mama did. That's nice to know. Um, done this order. Okay. Um, a note? That's, sausage. that's actually kind of cool. What do you guys think of that? Like a little note. Pizza, please. Okay. A toasted meatball hero. And then Pete's own calzone. And then, uh... Pete's own calzone? Why does everything sound so sexual to me? Is my brain just melted, or did you guys... Think that was sexual too. What note? Forget about it. If you're just if you're too distracted, I don't have your full attention. Then, then fuck you. I'll go for the linguine of clam. You're Thank you, my Ew, dear. clam. Clam is something I'll never be able to get behind. My God, look at the dining room. Why can't I just get attention? J Cat. I mean, it is sad. Bro, J Cat got tatted up, and now she's acting extra. She's acting all fancy and and acting different. Piece juicy calzone. Okay. 
I, 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 just, I just think it's funny. It was Pete's very own calzone. It wasn't Pete's calzone or, you know, Pete. It's Peter's very own calzone. Like, he's like his personal dinner. And he's about to eat. He's like, ah, oh, you can have it. Let me know. There's my food. Well, let's put it this way. Yeah. You feel brand new. That's how I feel too, Jake. I get tough. Like a brand new person. Like a little spicy. The meatball sandwich? The meatballs. I've had better cat food. I've, I've had better cat food? Wait, why, why is this motherfucker eating cat food? Wait a minute. Um. <clears throat> Wait a minute. How is it? The meatball sandwich? The meatballs. I've had better cat food. Gordon's like, bitch, what? Why the fuck you eating cat food? To what? He's like, listen. Cat food tastes exactly like it smells. Delicious. <laughs> oh shit, really? Oh, that's just a saying. I don't know where the fuck you were eating cat food. Long story. Holy shit. Dude, Gordon's like, fuck America. This place is weird. Lol. He's like, there's a, there's a fucking motherfucker eating cat food in this restaurant. What the fuck? That's fucking creepy. Yes. I've never heard Gordon so worried. He said, oh shit, really? That's a hologram. Just eating cat food and whatnot. You know what a lot of people are afraid of that? That's a clown. Oh. It moves! Oh, that's fucking weird, bro. That's haunted. That's like, that's definitely like a fucking something to be like an American horror story or some shit. Oh, gosh. Some slight. You think it was wet cat food or dry cat food? 15 years. So whose idea was that? That's spooky. That's mine. <laughs> oh my god. What is with like old white women and clowns? Like my grandma had like this obsession with clowns. She had clown pictures, like clown statues, like clown dolls. Like like have you guys have you guys ever seen people with, like they have like clown like decorations? Like have like a clown aesthetic to their house? Like what the fuck? How's the clown? Obsess weird obsessions in general. Get it out. No, it's not. I just checked it. It's Don't done. Worry. It's done. I this just is fucking checked it like two seconds ago. It's gonna burn in bottom. Get it out. That's pretty bad. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Shut up, all of you. Damn, like everyone's like, yo, your food's disgusting, old man. He's like, shut up. I think they just had nothing else to do. It's like a novel day. We're at 15 kids. I think I think women should have as many kids as they possibly can before they're 30. Okay, here's Pete's calzone. Jesus. Do I look like one of the Denver Broncos that I can eat this thing? Dude, I'll say this. I don't like when Gordon complains about it being a lot of food. It's making me feel like bad. Like, like, bro, listen. I like to eat. I want a big calzone. Are you hiding them from us? Where are your kids? Well, I'm not a woman. Why would I have 15 kids? It looks huge. It's supposed to be big. Yeah, I like big calzones. Fuck that. I don't want no tiny shit. Thank you, exactly. What he's doing. Oh, what the fuck? The portions. I mean, they're hideous. How much filling does he put in there? Jeez. Yeah, not enough filling for that big calzone. Raw onion. Oh, they put raw onions in it. Ew. Yes. Putting in there. Look at all that pepperoni. I mean, the slices are still jammed together. Yeah. I've never seen a calzone so full. It's fucking raw. It's all dough. Now, I will say this. I don't agree with Gordon here for the first time. He's like, look how much pepperoni and cheese is in here. Good God. So much pepperoni and cheese. Like, that's heaven for me. Like, what? I mean, the filling's cold. That is hideous. I don't like that either. Like, it's not cooked well. I agree. I love how he picks it apart. But, like, complaining about the amount of pepperoni and cheese? Like, bro, come on now. I've been wanting to take that cow. I guess he's just not in the American way. But he ain't making any money off that, though? Well, dude, listen, I'm a consumer. So. Those onions, though? Like, obviously, is it isn't cooked well, but, like, Bro, I like good amounts of food. I love cheese. Yeah, like, I want my shit packed full of pepper. I want my shit packed full of cheese. I want it cooked all the way, cooked properly, and, put, and, like, tastes good. But as far as, like, the portion, fuck yeah, I love that portion. Calzone and fling it like a frisbee. It's just be stuffed. About 20 euros. It'd be, like, $25 for it. I got some critiques for you. Shit. Are you, ki are you kidding me? Listen really? to me, damn it. Damn. The complaint is it's so full, it's cold. Shut up. 
And he wondered why his business is failing. For a pepperoni calzone. No, I'm paying over 15 yet. Neither would I. It's going to be a wake-up call for Pete. See? Perfect. I put my pizza up against anybody in the country. Bro, don't do that. I feel like a, a frozen DiGiorno pizza would whoop your ass. No, in Denver or Colorado. But more food means. That's how confident I am about my pizza. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Here's your sausage pizza. Holy crap. Isn't that ridiculous? It's like the pizza that ate Denver. Yeah. Shit. Okay. I'll let you take that in. Thank you. It does not look bad, to be honest. Jesus. The more you put into it, the more you have to charge the consumer. Uh, but here, listen to this. I go to a Mexican food restaurant, and I can get a fuck ton of food. More food than I can get at any other place for like eight bucks. But I get a fuck ton of rice, a fuck ton of, like, you get a fuck ton of food. What's up, Barbie? That looks pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. I like big pizzas, bro. Like my my pizza more cooked. Yeah, me too. I like mine a little more crispy, a little more solid. But I, I like I like a lot of size Man. on my pizza. Yeah, rice oh is cheap. God. I guess it depends on what the food is. Oh Yo, yeah, that that needed some more time, and it needs some more time to cool as well. The oil. Gordon, of course the cheese is gonna fall off when you hold it like that. My grease coming out of that. I mean, I agree, it's got a lot of oil and grease, but, like, why are you fucking ruining the slice? Like, the... Italian cuisine making me hungry? Yeah, dude. Dude, bro, uncommon Gordon L. Bro, I love you, Gordon. Stop doing this. You're pissing me off. It was, like, $20 for a stick of meat. Well, his is from, like, 1980, so he's had it for a while. That's gross. I would like it. Yeah, it needs to be a little more cooked. It needs to be a little less greasy, but that looks pretty good. Gordon's a little sus for this one, 20. He said it's too greasy, just exactly what I, I feel. Just dab it with a little bit of a napkin, that pizza would have been pretty good. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Honestly, the best pizza in Denver. I mean, does that look like the best pizza? Bro, what? You tore, you tore the fuck apart. What? No, no wonder it looks like that. This is aged pepperoni. I don't think you know, aged 80 years is good. Guaranteed. It might even be frozen. Trust me, I can tell you. It doesn't. Gordon tears the pizza apart, dumps the cheese off of it. He's like, what the fuck is this? Gordon, stop, bro. You're losing your credibility. It tastes good. So, let's do it. The dough is so thick. Why? I mean, it's just like a loaf of bread. It's like a baguette. The, 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 what do you mean? I like thick crust. No, oh, dude, honestly, okay, let's just chalk this up to Gordon doesn't know pizza. He's been, he, he knows everything else, but pizza might not be his forte. Good calzone or something. Like, yeah, yeah obviously this restaurant has some problems, but like, he's like, oh, the, he's like, there's too much cheese and grease. I hate, my calzone has too much in it. Oh my God, thick crust. Are you kidding me though? He does though. I mean, I'm sure he does, but like, dude, come on. That's our thin crust. He's critiquing the wrong thing. That's the thin crust. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> wow. I mean, obviously, the restaurant's failing, so at the end of the day, like, whatever, but, like, dude, come on. Have you had Chicago thick crust? I've had Chicago pizza, but not in Chicago, so. Yeah, it's not really high class dining. Like, no, like, this is, like, a good pizza for the average person. Seriously? I mean, the grease in the undercooked onions? No. But, like, as far as, like, you know, in general, like thick crust, gr a little bit of grease, cheesy pizza. Like, I, I think most people like aren't expecting like a like a super nice fine dining pizza with no grease, vegetables, aged cheese, blah 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 blah. All this shit. Like, most people just want a fucking like sexy, hot, cheesy. Nom, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust, and I bring them the thin crust. Wow, did you touch that? That was raw. Liking thin crust is the equivalent of liking a flat ass. Oh wow, it is. And raw pastry. My god, what a mess. Was it tastes good? Oh, well, I also think he's acting it up for the camera. Cause like he fucking dumped the cheese off the pizza, ripped it in half. He's like, does this look like a good pizza to you? I need a loaf of bread when I have pizza. I mean, is this crust really too much? Like it looks doughy. It need, like what JK said, it looks like it need to be cooked a little longer. But like, 
I honestly don't think that's too much crust. Now, if, if that's the thin crust and there's the fucking thick crust, which is more, then yeah, that's too much. Like, I would say this is fine, but like any more would probably be bad. Needs the um nom nom factor. Done. Alrighty. It did need like another five minutes or ten minutes in the oven, probs. Okay, I'll let him know. Messy. Fuki delicious. I, I'd be like, yo, just bring that pizza here. Don't throw that shit away. It's definitely not the best pizza in Denver. I can agree with that. Hey, Pete, he wanted me to show you. The dough. What's wrong with that pizza? He said the pizza was doughy on the inside and greasy. It is doughy, look. <laughs> this is like good pizza, basically, right? He tore that shit apart and I like, fucking showed it on camera. I was like, bro, you fucking destroyed it. Delicious thin crust. Guys, what do you like better? You guys like thin crust better or thick crust? Personally, I like thicker crust. But thin crust is good. You're good, JK. Thin, thin. I like thin, uh, thin. I, if I'm in the mood for thin, it slaps. But I normally like a big, thick crust. Really? I agree with him too. That greasy crust. That's kind of like, ew, bug, me? thick ass. I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love. Yeah, that's might be too much grease. If the grease puddles, I, if I can see the grease in the pizza, that's fine. But if it's like puddling up in the pizza and the pizza's like floating in grease, that's too much. But there's a line, thinner stuff. Mm. I do, I eat it. Don't you guys throw this away? Leave it, I'm gonna eat it. Are you kidding me? What? That's disgusting. He eats Gordon, the, the piece Gordon destroyed. He's like, he's like eating like, like. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> Look at him! Chef Ramsey's problem is that he hasn't tasted a classic pizza before. Nah, I, I gotta agree, there's a little too much grease for me. Damn, it's good. He's tasted all this fancy stuff, you know. Okay, here we go. The meatball hero. The meatball hero. That's a meatball? And how do you... How would you... Um, oh. I guess you approach that however you feel. Okay, listen. A meatball sub, like, you kind of have to fucking get messy. That's not a classic pizza, to be honest. Wow. My favorite pizza, to be honest, is the margarita pizza. Fucking love margarita pizzas. Thank you, my darling. No problem. Just visually. Oh, I can go for one right now. I'm not a big meatball sandwich. I'm not a big meatball sandwich kind of person though. God. That's not anywhere near. Ew, the bread is soggy. I hear a sandwich. That looks more like a sloppy joke. Yeah, what the fuck? Love healthy pizza. Bad. It's all soggy. I love meatball sammies. Patch of soaking wet grass after a cow shuttle over it. Dude, I do people sleep on sloppy joes pika, but I really do fuck with sloppy joes, like actual sloppy joes, of course. We kind of fucked it. No, we made it better. Bro, America. American pizza. Are you all done with that? That is definitely not a hero yet. Bro, Mighty, imagine this, dude. Imagine if we took pizza, we fucking deep fried it. We breaded it and deep fried that shit. That would be fucking delicious. That'd be a true American pizza. No, come on. You wouldn't try it. Would you guys try deep fried pizza? No. Please. Do you want to hear Chef's response? Yes. Yes, he said yeah. it's a zero, not a hero. Damn. America. People have done it? No way. Bazussy. Nice. Would you try blood sausage? I don't know. Do the deep fry? I don't think it would be good if I'm being honest, but I would try it just to say I have. I have plenty of people that they love my meatball. I am very proud of my meatballs. For Chef Ramsey to say it was a zero, it's very insulting. Not the balls! Sasha's so not bad, just a small bite. I'm not a big f Wait, is what was blood sausage come from a pig? The menu at Pantaleon's. And while Pete claims it's a small bite, the best in Denver, yes, to the deep fried. Ramsey has discovered Holy <laughs> it's anything but with gigantic portions. Greasy pizza. That makes it. So I'm already not a huge sausage fan, but I'm being real. When it comes to meat, I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat probably any pork. It's the blood of the pig. So I don't, I don't eat much of any pork. I rarely eat pork. Um, the most of the meat I eat is chicken. And if I eat red meat, it's going to be a steak or a turkey. And tasteless dishes. The blood of the pig. It's zero. 
Josh, what are you doing, Josh? But other than that, I don't eat like a lot of red meat or any kind of meats other than like chicken and turkey. Really? I'm gonna whack you over the head with this damn thing. Let it get really hot before you put them in. Is this the first time I've done this? I don't agree at all with serving anything out of a can. It's embarrassing. Damn. Until you taste some shit. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, here's the linguine. Wow, wow, wow. Wait. No problem. Canned clam? Like, clam is already kind of sketch and sus, but fucking canned clams? Yikers. I've been steaking a long time. Just, I had steak yesterday, it was so fucking good. At sushi today. Absolutely dreadful. The seasoning, bland, like a plate of hospital food. It's just so Damn! Clams are good, to be honest. I haven't had good clam, but I, I'm not opposed to trying it from a better place. Damn. Pissed in my pasta. Damn. Bro, Pete's pissing in the pasta. Not the hospital food. Bro, I heard someone say that um, Panera, Bre Panera and Atlanta bread is just fucking uh, glorified hospital food. What do you guys think about that? I would be sick. Clams on ha the half shelf. Clams are good, to be honest. Like I said, I'd have to, I'd have to like, go to like a nicer restaurant and probably have them. The place I had them at wasn't like, it wasn't known for clams, so that's probably why they weren't very good. So I agree. Drink it. Are you all done with that? Yeah. Thank you, darling. No problem. And that's like one of the worst urine samples you could ever give. <laughs> oh, gross. Thank you. Horrible. I like how she's laughing. Hey, Joshua. What did he say? He was very, very not happy with that. There were a lot of comments. It's ridiculous. A big production with clams. Right now, the only person in here that's happier. Dude, what I want to what I want to have again soon is a fucking good old fashioned like um, lobster with all the seasoning, a little corn on the cobs, the vegetables, the fucking butter and garlic. You know what I'm talking about? I try to think what this meal is called, but like you get it like a fucking it's just all oh my god, dude, fucking gonna come just thinking about it. Is that stupid fucking clown on the wall? <sighs> that was bad. You gotta take it, man. You gotta have to take it. There's a reason this place isn't doing good right now. Clams is the stars. Yeah. Clams. Clams has a very like unattractive name too, which I don't think helps the taste. And I know what I'm doing. Seafood boil. Yes. My first time in Pika, you're in my mind. Quite possibly one of the worst. What Pika said, JK. First of all, the clams were dreadful. I disagree. Damn. Seriously? Yes. Have you any idea how bad? Up Gordo keeps his clown after he rebuilds the restaurant. Damn. Ah, uh, gotta have that old bo old bank Cajun season. Yes. I'm not a big fan of seafood. Always mighty for sure. Wait, you don't like seafood? I fucking love seafood. That tasted. It's how he's made it for years and years. Well, they canned. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Why are you lying to me? My, what, DC! What's up, girl? Menu that everything's fresh. Bro, Diesel, earlier um, we, were, they were interv we were watching this thing where they were interviewing a German guy, and apparently German guys are known for having small cocks. Can you confirm? Homemade, like, mama, dude. I strongly yeah, dislike fresh seafood. Fresh You're fresh crazy. Ingredients are quite as, as fresh. Better greens, better pizza. And then, the Papa John's. Disaster. My sausage pizza. It was dripping in grease. The dough was so thick, parts of it were undercooked. I Damn. I disagree with you about my Kinda. Dough. <laughs> I think I have a great dough. Really? Yes, sir. This was a thin crust. Yes, sir. I mean, you need to go and get your eyes tested, but that was not a thin crust. I am disagreeing with you. I have We are not in pizza. 1985, Pete. That's tough. Do you think... Good diesel. I'm not. I, I was saying every German person, by the way. I was just saying the majority of German people. That your father is serving the best pizza in Denver. Not anymore. And do you think your husband is selling the? Best I, I'm not even saying it's true. Apparently, it's a stereotype that German dudes have small wieners, which I've never heard of. But that's what that's what a German dude said in this interview that we were watching. Pizza in Denver. No, I don't. You know, there's a huge mistake on the awning. Do it, J Cat. Because I think you just better me 
the worst pizza in Denver. Yikes. I disagree with you. Can I have two minutes on my own? Would you mind? He's, got, he's like, he's like, can I have two minutes? I'm about to whoop this old motherfucker's ass. But uh, yeah, we'll pet her and watch the stream. Wait, how would we know that the Germans have small dicks? Was he gay? That's just what he said. Um. Pete is extremely set in his ways, but he's got- He's like, I only need two minutes to whoop this old geezer's ass. I have to listen to somebody or we're not going to make it. You know what? He needs this. He's right on every damn- He's brilliant, Jake. Right. Take one for the team, Jake. You're in denial. That's the problem. You cannot just continue going through this system of failure that you're just- You're not getting anywhere. You're just going further and further backwards. And it's not making anybody happy. It's not giving your wife and your your family a bit of freedom. Of course he does, my dear. It's just feeding your ego. I don't know what to say. You're sinking. <laughs> You're taking everybody else on the boat with you. He's open opened his eyes. The pizza is not good. Still Wait, is being bi considered being indecisive? Michaela, thank you for the follow. With you. I really will. I'm sorry, but I am. I need some Welcome in, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Fuck me. <sighs> Man. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Stop on. Been doing this for so because, uh, some people think we are jk you're gay cat you're not fooling anyone you're not by joe gay ass for bi people amo i never even thought that he's right on everything he said every fucking thing he said he's right the pizza even i've been telling you everything that he told you i've been saying the same shit though i said what? pipe the crust down it's too fucking much Dude. Fuck. Bi curious Did compared to bisexual. To Are they smoking cigarettes outside their business? Do you guys think that's a bad look for your business to smoke cigarettes right outside of it? See, since perpetuating the stereotype. <laughs> Good. I love perpetuating stereotypes. I'm a bad person. Just how I am. The food is shit. No. It really is. So I'll say this. I don't think I don't well, I don't like to smoke cigarettes, but something about the smell of cigarettes is just fucking like I like the smell of cigarettes. Like I wouldn't want to smell like cigarettes personally, but like when I walk by someone who's smoking like a fucking like marble red or some shit, like I'm just like cause it reminds me of my fucking grandparents. It might also be the back door too, not at all. I was just thinking so because like how they they make like the Walmart employees like fucking like run around the back of the building to smoke and shit. What are you crying? Why are you crying? It's fucking frustrating. I did the best I could. Over the years. It's not good enough anymore. Damn. I'm coming out for a minute. I don't know, you know what? I've realized that, that it was like this for many, many years. And I've been nagging and screaming and carrying on. This place either changes or you lock the fucking doors. Oh, I'm, I'm done. If you don't change and do what he says, you'll never see me in this place again. And Damn. Flying, you know what's, what happened. His wife is a penny. We have real bad homeless people from behind the store. Happens to everything I own. You'll be here by yourself. Everybody calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, calm down, right? Yeah. I don't think that I need to change. I know what I'm doing. Joshua and Paulette do not understand. I don't see how these people don't understand they need to change. Like their business is failing. Like they're losing their family. Like this, this lady's like, you'll, I'll, I'll never see you again. I'll, I'm leaving you. His son's like, you're fucking up my whole life. You're fucking up everything. They're fucking, the pizza's gross. The fucking business, like everything is going to shit. And they're like, I don't need to change. Everything is fine. Even though I'm on kitchen nightmares right now. Like, bro, come on. How about running this place? Come on. The experience that they both have been put together. So, there you have it. That's probably why they're in this position, Mindy, because they always think they're right. If they, if they didn't have that mindset, they'd probably never be in this position. Poor Pete. Fuck, fuck Pete. After seeing how stubborn Pete was about his food, the pizza is not good. 
the pizza. And his claim that he has the best. What a pizza so bad. So many red flags. He had to do something to finally get through. Wait, what is this? Tasting three margarita pizzas. So we headed. Ah, I want to do that. To do a little organized research. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Now armed with the findings from the it's called ignorance. It's the blue pill. Ignorance is bliss. Ramsey returns to Pantaleons. Dude, I need to, I need to go red pill this guy if he's still alive. Do you guys think Pete's still alive? Do you think there's still a chance I can red pill him? I just ate a slice of Pete. I'm jealous. Confront Pete. Uh, I'm results. hungry. One thing that is very clear. I think Pete, you have overestimated how good your pizza is. You need some of these. Go get your slice. You've ever compared it. No, he's probably dead. Right Rip. Now. So, after my disappointment Rip. at lunch yesterday, Rest in piss. I did a little research in Denver. How about all of you stand up and come and stand over here, please? Yep. And here it comes. Pete, it's now time to really find out how good your pizzas are. Oh, shit. Three pizzas in front of me. A Couple pizza. nights ago. A is from one of the best restaurants in town. B is your pizzas. And C It's like a Sinception. A oh, shit. Frozen pizza. Time Pepperoni with pineapple, pizza, pizza and tomatoes. Right. Honestly, I haven't had a pineapple pizza in a long time. I'm honestly down to have a slice and definitely a game changer. Ew. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to smack the mic. I like B, A because it was thin. And your least favorite? B, B. Why be soggy on the crust? Way too much cheese. It overwhelmed everything else. It felt my heart stop. It was too much. Too, too much, much on the crust. The crust was soggy. Pizza pizza slaps. Not very good. Dude again. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, Pete. Here's the results in a nutshell. 75% of our taste testers preferred pizza A from the top local Italian restaurants. In second place, with 15% of the votes, was a store-bought frozen pizza. Damn, even the frozen pizza performed better. And in third and last position was yours with 10% only of the votes. Yours was the least favorite. You're actually beaten by a store bought fucking frozen pizza. Christ. Get the message? This is one of the best combos? No. Wow. Yeah, wow. How does that. Bro, Pete, bro, Pete's shattered. It's all reality. It's all, it's all understanding of himself as a person's gone. There was a people still preferred Pete's Pizza. Well, ten percent of like those people were like two people. There wasn't like a ton of people there. Big they had all the tomatoes. It's like a low level tomatoes. Bad, but I'm not surprised because I've been saying the same thing: too much cheese, too much crust, too much everything. I've talked and talked and talked about the same things, and I don't see it changing. It's really bad. It needs to change. I think that um, in uh, his mind, it's always more is better. I do put a lot of ingredients on. Yeah, you I do. do. I do. Your pizzas are dated. I am very surprised at the results of the video. I know I'm not. My wildest dreams that the people of Denmark will pick a frozen pizza over my pizza. You have got to understand. Bro, he's shattered right now. Then this is really fucking with him. You are miles away from serving Denver's best pizza. Damn, Gordon. That 1991 review behind me is no longer valid. We're in a different era. You've taken the praise of a local critic. It's gone to your head, and you have locked in what they said. Damn, was Gordon. Kept doing it for nearly Bro, Gordon's fucking emasculating him right now. 30 fucking years. Can you three just give me two minutes and get some fresh air outside? Because this is important. I've got one very important question for you. Am I willing to change? That's the one. No. Why? Wait, what? After what you just saw? Eh? You realize like how embarrassing it's been the last three years? What's up, Lethal Giant? My name is pretty good. I was, I was yours, man. That's all because of this stuff. This bullshit. I've been in here waiting tables and my knees are shot. I'm not going to do it anymore and I'm serious with you. I mean, I may even leave. I am out of here. Damn. Yeah, I'm actually to to ready to head to Texas. Hell yeah, come on down to Texas. I'm, I'm done. That was good. Good shit, bro. I've pulled with you, I've been your partner. 
You haven't always been mine, but I have been yours. Damn. And I want you now to step up because I don't want to lose my home. Just change the what's up, Tish? Just change the ingredients, home. motherfucker. I don't want you to. Pete. Are you committed? This is a heavy dose of reality. I am. You are. Okay. Okay. 100%. Yes, I am ready to change. Maybe, maybe you will. Yeah. Let's see. I hope so. I hope so. Pete is a creature of habit, and <sighs> it's going to be hard for him to change and break habits. I want to see it. What's this episode about? Fill me in. It's about um this guy who has like the best pizza in Denver, but he had the best pizza in 1991, and now his pizza is basically ass, and he won't switch. His taste test. Yours was the least favorite. You're actually. I don't think so, Tish. Bought fucking frozen pizza and ultimatums from his family. I may even. <laughs> yeah, what Jake said. Has resulted in a commitment from Pete. I am ready to change. To accept change. But before any physical changes are made to the restaurant or to the food, Chef Ramsay wants to bridge the gap between a father and a son. I'm about to check it out. Here I don't have HBO, but I'm about to check it out sometime. Two, three generations working in this business. How important is that? That's pretty cool. Very. Three generations in one business. So, let me tell you something about a with it. unique Italian restaurant. It's in New York. It's called Rayo's. They have been serving quality food since 1896. God damn. And every single night it is packed. You I'll have to see it, Tish. Honestly, I don't have much time to watch TV right now. That's my dream. Do you know what? I'd love to take you to Rayo's. Which more restaurant did that? I mean, it's a little far from here. But in 2006, they opened up in Vegas. And I can take you both. To Vegas. Might check it out, Pika. Oh. Wait, they're going to Vegas? That is exactly <laughs> what all three of us are doing tonight. Dude, wholesome Gordo. Let's fucking go. They're going to Vegas. Look how happy they are. Even even he's like, are you serious, Chef? Are you shitting me, Chef? Are you shitting me, Chef? That is <laughs> Vegas? That's fucking dope. What the fuck? I want to go to Vegas. That's one of the places I haven't been yet. Exactly what all three of us are doing tonight. Damn. Vegas is at Caesars. And my good friends at Caesars have sent their private plane. Now, wheels up in half an hour. What the we fuck is going on? <laughs> That's dope. What, what are you doing to me? I'll take it out, Tish. I'll hit you up. They go the same day. What the hell? This is dope. It's unbelievable. I can't even think right now. Come on, this is gonna be a blast. Are you kidding? Me? I'm ready to go to Vegas with Chef Ramsay and my son. Of course. Come on, wait, come on, I, come on, come on. wait, they're leaving the mom? Oh shit! She's like, I've always been a half partner in this business, blah blah blah, and they're fucking leaving her. That's fucking hilarious. Bye. See ya. Me, boy trip, boy trip. No girls allowed. Oop. I thought she was going with them. I did for a second too. Great to be out of that restaurant. Excellent. Tonight is about you two. Yeah. Catch up with each other and spend a bit of quality time together. Yeah. Here's to you both. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, cheers. Father and son. That's fucking dope, bro. Private jet, whoa, damn. This is one of the coolest things Gordon's done for any of these so far. She's probably happy to be rid of him. True. Dude, imagine going to Vegas just hanging out with Gordon. He's going with them. It's a boys trip, bro. Boys trip to Vegas, J-Cat. How are you, sir? Chef Gordon, how are you, bro? Chat, we're going to have a community boys trip. I mean, a community Vegas trip, but it's going to be boys only. No girls are allowed to come with us. Good to see you. Good to Welcome see you, back. Too. Thank Welcome you so much. Absolutely. This is Pete. I'm Craig Pellegrino. Welcome to Rayo. Thank you. Come on, let's go into our dining room. Let's go. Like the water. Um, what up, Daltino? Sweet. Boys, 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 boys. Do I count? Uh, Are you a boy? Tutelage of my father, and I had to learn how to really become open-minded and willing to communicate mm -hmm. in a 
constructive way. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. have that strong relationship, there you go, Tish. Care for one another, mm -hmm. that will only reflect in your business. And who's really going to pick up on that? Do I am a man? If it was a oh, okay. Get that, get that toxic masculinity out of here, Trey. It's good to see you, Trey, by the way. I haven't been here in ages. I know. Let me show you all the drag shows. Oh, hey, Trist. Wait, where's Tristan? I didn't see Trist. Tristan? Hello, are you there? Mo Cloud? Where's the food, Lamo? I'm so confused. Stepping up to the plate, what would it be? Truthfully, the most important thing. Are you about Trey? You have with your dad. I agree with Frank that the most important relationship is with my father, and I hope my father can see with working together how successful we can become. Are you ready to try some? I do want to check out Vegas yes. at some point. I am so thankful to Chef Ramsay to bring me over here and open my eyes and my mind. Italian food. The way they've been in business for over a hundred years. Absolutely. I just want something to eat now, but I'm so hungry. Let's take a lesson from it. I'm gonna remember this night for the rest of my life. That's so crazy, bro. Eating at the nicest restaurant in Caesar's Palace. One night together in Vegas has clearly brought Josh and Pete together again. And while they have been away, Chef Ragney Ragney bitch. Bro, no, she's a woman. To overhaul the decor of this outdated restaurant. So, are you all ready to see the Who next cares that she gave birth video? to him? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Okay, great. Remove your blindfolds. Look at Gordon's shirt. The hell? I've never seen Gordon dress like this. A pink V-neck? Okay, Gord. Bro, Gord's acting weird in this episode. I don't know if I like it. Look at those nips, yum. Okay. Okay. Remove your blindfolds. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. It is amazing. Gold is that depressing attacking. He visited out nicely. We have completely transformed this gorgeous little room. It's a restaurant of today. It's got that fresh contemporary feel. Wow. Is you okay? Look. That's actually a huge remodel. Damn. We tore down. Oh, they're still open. Wait, this restaurant is still open? Ooh, wow. Well, Why well, I still hate it. Honestly, but it looks way better. Look at it. They are. Gordar feminist king. Fuck feminism. <laughs> More thrilled with Gordo now. Wait, how? Like that's way better, bro. It was so ugly before. Oh my lord! We've had these new cool signs to create that nice, fun, modern, hip vibe. Gone of those twenty-five-year-old reviews and that scary clown. So the story makes sense. Everybody hated. We have pictures of Italy. Amen. Mamma mia. Family pictures on the wall. Oh, I, I love this. It lets everybody know that this is a family. I like that too. This is just. That's the the family yeah, pictures. Thank you, Gordy. Our new restaurant looks. Amazing. Damn, she's getting handsy with Gordy. Here in Denver is really cool, and it's new. But the history's still here. Damn, mighty. Pretty impressive. Hey, you okay? Results of the changes. No. I'm ecstatic about my new restaurant. I'm overwhelmed. Is this awesome or what? This is That's dope. The best day in history of Pantaleons, hands down. That's Please, awesome. Take a menu and pass them along. To go along with the drastic changes that have been made to the interior, I want you all to dive in. Chef Ramsay He's has sobbing. the menu and the portions. Honestly, the uh, Pete's actually come around. Most owners don't come around this much. Look at that Caesar, how cool. Yeah. Oh, it's just an easy. Wild. He's designed a fun contemporary menu that has a modern take on Italian classics. I think Denver is going to love this place. It's awesome. The hoes gonna love this. <laughs> I just want a quick word with all four of you outside. Let's go. It has been a day of surprises for the family, and Chef Ramsay has one more. Just stay I got you as a dog. Okay. Some sure good biology. Profits. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Damn, bro, Gordon went all out for this fucking restaurant. Goddamn, a fucking minivan, delivery van. <laughs> That 
Let's go. Delivery van donated by my friends at 1-800 Charity Cars. Hey, 1-800 Charity Cars, sponsor me in my Twitch stream. Don't donate me a charity car. Why would I want splotches of cheese? Pull it up into whip. Everybody know, not just in the neighborhood, but in the city, that you have the best pizza, and you deliver. Deliver. Better pizza, better yeah. ingredients, Papa John's. This is awesome. Isn't it? I have a beautiful restaurant now. I have a beautiful menu, and I have a delivery. I'm out of here. Nice. They fuck. I want to give Good this hard for a family. Night, and everything is on the line. What the hell are you guys doing? Will Pete and Josh get their act together? Yikes. So far backwards. Or will all of Chef Ramsay's hard work be for naught? Daddy Johns. Didn't Papa John, like, say the N-word or something? Like, the, the guy who, like... Is like With actual Papa John. Reveal the completely new restaurant. Hey, the Daddy same, Johnny. Relaunch always Chef sucks. Ramsey gives some last-minute pointers to Pete and Josh. One delicious portion of lasagna and one delicious portion of eggplant palm. This is awesome. Because John's a euphemism for penis. Good evening. Welcome to Papa. Uh, good one. Good I don't know that, that man is wild. Pete, when the order comes on, nice loud clear, tick it up. Josh, you follow sync. For tonight, Chef Ramsay has divided up the work for the father and son team. You ready? Yes, ready. Josh will be working the saute line. All right, let's do this. While Pete, in addition to making the pizzas, will- Little Papa John said he was trying very hard to take it out of his vo daily vocabulary. I can respect that. He was trying very, very hard. Monty Lopez kind of looks like Papa John, a sexy Papa John. Was there any episode that Gordon couldn't help and they shut down? There were episodes where the final service or the final conclusion of the restaurant, Gordon's like, you know, it's kind of hopeless. They're not going to make it. But not like we're like, oh, like they shut down right away before the episode ended. They're like, oh, you know, this restaurant, you know, doesn't have a lot of hope and it probably won't work out. They've done that a couple of times. Like a few months later. Yeah. I've done my job for the day chat. A bad pun. Good job. We'll not Monty. Time. Here's our new menu. I'm going to have the ball that's Wonderful. Alright, ladies. Did I give you enough time to decide? It's Miss Colorado. Thank you, Ryan. Give me a welcome, ladies. Order on, please, Pete. Let's go. Eggplant farm. Damn, Mighty. I can still red pill him. Oh, shit. Mama John. What else is on that ticket? Don't just start throwing pizzas in now. You don't think I know what I'm doing, do you? Hey, Pete, how long for 16? What 16? 16 is already gone. Josh, is this done or what? I don't know. I don't know what, what happened. Although dinner service has just begun, Pete is already overwhelmed. Won't <sighs> <with you. laughs> die. Bubba, you're not talking to me, man, and we're missing times here. And is not communicating effectively Friendly with Josh. Man. I don't even know where the fuck we are. Listen, I Listen bro, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's still kicking it, making pizzas. And almost no food has left the kitchen. Where's this going? I need a table number on this. Okay, lasagna, the linguine vodka, right? Where's the linguine vodka? I don't have that. Where's the linguine vodka? They, they should be like the Mexican restaurant we had yesterday where they gave free shots to everyone who came in. Really? What the hell are you guys doing? Put the fucking thing out. Whatever, man. Stop! You, you, come here. Urgently, now. Oh, oh shit. Fucking... I, I want to give up. We are now just going so far backwards. Have we come this far now to give up? No. True. Table 16. They're freaking it up. When a ticket's gone, it gets fucking You mother nice. frickers. Yes, Let's regroup, and then we focus on 16. Okay. okay? Let's go. In. Chef is absolutely right. I have to take a breath and start doing a ticket at a time. Table there you go. Come on, Pete. Lasagna, linguine, vodka, Josh. Throwing Come shit. Right nice. Take your time. What's going next? Then I need a neck Honestly, like the past three or four episodes we watched have been good. Don't get me wrong, but like nothing's been as crazy as like the first couple ones we watched with like Amy, that one like crazy bald dude who like lied about everything. And um which one was the other one? The twin brothers um was weird and a couple other ones, but like most of them have been like like you can tell like they're kinda of, they're trying to reaching for drama, but like those first two we watched, bro, those were so fucking juicy. Was young and small mid lovers. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Come on, you can do it. 
like the, the 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 first couple we watched on stream like definitely seemed like really like the people were fucking insane the amy one was pretty bad oh part one and two was just terrible Here's as though Chef Ramsay's pep talk Good night, Rain. the trick. Both Pete and Josh are clearly more focused. There was 16. They are now able to control the orders and get the Thank you, Rain, so much. Out. Have a great night. Have a good day. Whatever time it is for you. I almost forgot about her. How could you forget about Amy? She's such a MILF. Capellini, eggplant, parmesan. Eggplant, parm, capellini, heart. All right, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my Bianca, and then uh, we're done. Yeah. Small Bianca, and we're done. I never thought I'd see Pete change. I think he's more open to listening and working with- Dude, Pete's so short. He's such a short king. She had devil eyes. Amy had the crazy- Amy's still ugly to me. I thought Amy- I would fuck her. I'd fuck the crazy out of her. His family. I'm very proud of him. Very much so. High five. We will pass tonight. He's funny. I still do it, he is, isn't he? Tonight, we had a rocky time in the kitchen. But How's your day, little spoon? Dealt with it. Little spoon. You now have a plan. Pick up the reins and run with it. All right, look after yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Dang, this is kind of an anticlimactic end, or is that just me? I feel like the ending is way more climactic normally. Hmm. I thought like I just got fucking edged. Like, did, did, did Kitchen Nightmares just edge me? Nah. Bye, darling. I love you, Chef. Thank you so much. Chef Ramsey really inspired us. Dude, Ben, never to 10 bits. Hopefully, Pete and Josh can do even better. Get some food, Lil Spoon. Level. I've got to go. How old are you? I'm 24. Ramsey is a remarkable, remarkable man. I am Biddy, thanks, bro. Guys, Devetta, everyone for the subs, just everything, guys. Thank you so much for the, night, for the bits, the subs, the support is immaculate. Thank you. It's very much appreciated right now. Thank you for coming here and opening my eyes. Take care of you. I love you, you old Brit. You old Brit. At least we got a Gordon outro. Last video, we didn't get a Gordon outro. We didn't get to watch Gordon like wander off into the night. In all my years of doing Kitchen Nightmares, I don't think I've ever met a more lovable character than Pete. <laughs> Wait, really? I didn't think Pete was that lovable. I think he turned around pretty well, but I don't think he was, like, lovable. Unfortunately, when I first arrived, his heart may have been in the right place, but his head certainly wasn't. Let's go, JK. Years, the guy was doing the same thing every day, despite his business going downhill. But I am truly honored to have helped this wonderful, appreciative man to finally see the light. For Pete's sake, I not the pun, Gordo. Sincerely hope that no the continues. He's been switching so talks. I love it. Wow, I'm also right. hella tired, son. Pantalones. No mas pantalones. In the weeks that followed, Pete remained committed to the standards set by Chef Ramsay. Let's go. Good shit, JK. I'm proud of you. Yes, sir. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. And the new menu has already received the pizza from not only customers inside the restaurant, but outside as well. Shit, the delivery is probably fucking is what is what made it worth it for them. That's why they stayed in business. Was the, was the delivery? Thank you. Have a nice day. Next time. On First Fortnite nice thing up. All right, if you guys watch this on YouTube, I greatly appreciate. It. Make sure you like and subscribe and check my other content. I'm sure you would enjoy it. Uh, and leave a comment. Mwah. Have a great day. Want to eat pork belly so bad? Go eat that pork belly. Shit. Go get that shit. Go get that shit right now, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Bye, YouTube. Guys, there's so much drama. I'm excited. All right. See what else there's to watch. Guys, I dropped a new video today. Is porn bad? Go watch it. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Give YouTube a kiss. I like pork belly tastes weird. I'm not, like, I'm not a big fan of pork. And then we can be freaks with his bare hands. I'm a girl. I call everyone bro. Eh, regardless of gender, everyone's a bro to me. It's fucking amazing. So I'm not a big fan of pork. Dude, thank you, Mighty, for hanging out, dude. Have a